Hello. All right, let's see code. Minimum deletions to make string balance. Done this before, but I don't think I've made a video about it. You're given a string S consisting only of characters A and B. You can delete any number of characters in S to make S balance. S is balanced if there is no pair of indices, I, J, such that I is less than J and S, I is equal to B and S, J is equal to A. Return the minimum number of deletions to make S balance. No pair of indices such that there is a B before an A. So for this one, I know I definitely have to remove either this B or this A here. Definitely <clears throat> all the deletions would be somewhere within this range here because you have two A's here. I don't need to do anything with those. The B at the end don't have to do anything with those, that for sure. So out of this range here, what do I need to delete? Well, I could either delete three B's or two A's, so it would be two. Now, is there a problem with that logic? I have a feeling I'm oversimplifying it. Yeah, I just realized um, there must be some examples where I have to move a number of A's and a number of B's. If I have A, 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 B, 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 and I replace this with an A, replace this with a B, removing all the, either all A's or all B's is definitely not the optimal solution. In this case here, it's best to just remove this B and this A. I see, I see. This is a somewhat difficult question. How do I actually figure that out? I think it all depends on uh, finding a split point. So for any position, I want to find out what happens if I remove all B's from this substring and remove all A's from this substring? Now, does that work for this case here? Yes, it does. This split would be here and here. So in this case, I'm removing all A's from here and removing all B's from here, which is not. So it's all about finding a split, which means I can have some prefix uh, sums for the number of A's given a split and the number of B's given a split. Okay, let's implement this. I need to keep track of the prefix sums of size s dot size plus one and have two of these. Should I initialize it to zero? No, I don't need to. I just have to say p zero at zero is equal to zero. p one at zero is equal to zero. And then go through each character in the string and say ps of i plus one is equal to ps of i plus whether or not this character here at s is equal to a or not. This one here would be equal to whether or not it's equal to B. Um, and then we can go through each of the positions and check. So uh, given that your string has, let's say again, A, A, B, there's actually many different positions. So we can have zero, one, two, three, four. Let's say zero represents removing all A's from the string and V and four represents moving all B's from the string. And one represents moving all B's from this substring here, just A, there's none, so that's fine. In fact, I don't need the four here because when I'm at the three, that's uh, inclusive of three, the left substring. Less than or equal to S dot size plus plus I. So for zero, basically asking how many in the left substring will be ps of zero well how many b's in the left substring so ps of one at i minus ps of one at zero i didn't need that's always zero so i just i didn't need to subtract that the right on the other hand is everything up to the end of the string minus ps of zero so not including I, I think that's correct. And then uh, we keep track of an answer to be equal to the whole string and then do answer is equal to min of the answer and the left plus the right, and then return answer. This should be zero and this should be one. So the answer is two here, and I'm thinking that the answer is, is two as well for this case. All right, let's 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 give that a run and see. Awesome, that uh, seems to work. Time complexity would be O of N. Space is also O of N because of the prefix sums, which is Definitely good enough. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.